What is going on, all you beautiful and sexy people? This is Manufactured Opinion here, bringing you some near automata gameplay. <laughs> actually, I really like saying that. It's, it's a cool name. Uh, I actually had to look up the pronunciation of it because I thought I may have been pronouncing near near wrong. Uh, but then when I when I was listening to a YouTube video of how to pronounce it, it was automata. And I am in the camp, firmly in the camp, that it is automata. But you know, you know how crazy I get about the pronunciation of certain things, because I always get wrong. So uh, let me know how you guys pronounce it in the comments. Uh, but anyways, today I'm bringing you a video of how to reclaim your lost items and weapon after the first boss fight of the game. And actually... Um, in this second mission where you where you can get access to uh, to the first area of the game where you die in the boss fight I won't, I, there is some spoilers involved so I won't say exactly how you die um, but in this second area as you progress through the game actually goes on to explain that it is a feature when you die it's a I mean the game is nothing like Dark Souls but in, in comparing it to Dark Souls uh, you run back to your body and, and you don't just pick up the experience that you get, you also pick up uh, all the items that you lost. And like I said, I won't, I won't explain exactly how you die uh, in the prologue, but I thought this was a, a neat feature. I was actually just exploring and uh, jumped up on this truck here and uh, ended up back at, the, uh, back at the prologue of the game, which I thought was really cool, really cool feature. And honestly... Uh, I wasn't expecting to find my my dead body. It was uh, once uh, once I picked up all of the items from it, uh, I realized that it was was obviously my my dead body, and it was doesn't look anything like to be. I'll say that, and it was I wouldn't say emotional. Uh, I haven't had, I haven't had enough investment in the game yet to be emotional about it, and to be quite frank, I was. Uh, wasn't too impressed with the prologue. I, I guess it's probably not a popular uh, popular opinion, but I wasn't all that impressed with the prologue. But in the second mission, the game kind of opens up. I wouldn't call it open world, but there's a lot to explore, a lot of things to do, a lot of things to collect, a lot of side quests and stuff like that. And uh, a lot of the times with the open world games or open world-esque games, they'll just throw a bunch of shit at you to do and you just... When you have an OCD nature like myself, you just become so overwhelmed that you never complete the game. I haven't got that vibe from this game just yet, and the, the combat and stuff is so rewarding in this game that I'm definitely uh, definitely planning on finishing it. Uh, and I have read around a little bit that things change through each playthrough. Playthrough 2, playthrough 3, playthrough 4 with different endings. Uh, and I've heard good things about playing to that, playing all the way to that point. So I'm interested to see how that goes. But anyways, um, I guess to get into the specifics of the video, you just jump out onto that truck, run all the way down to the highway, and eventually you'll, become, you'll come to a familiar area, and uh, and you'll find your dead body. And you'll actually, the most important thing to me here was the extra weapon. Uh, I'm not too sure how much it costs at the store, but anything that saves me money is definitely is definitely good in my book. But uh, I'm interested to see a how you guys pronounce the name of this game, and b if you're playing it, how you enjoy it. If you played all the way through the end, if it's worth it to play two, three, four times through this game. Uh, I'm interested to hear all those viewpoints. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. Uh, and this cool feature uh, but most importantly I hope you are enjoying life and I will see you in the next video stay sexy everybody